What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and it's time for some Enter the Dragon type competition battles. Now, I know this competition was a little while ago, but those battles were pretty fun overall. I had a lot of fun in that competition and I just really want to exhibit a specially offensive Mega Altaria some more. Now in this match my opponent actually led off with Mamoswine and Rayquaza. I didn't expect that lead matchup, but it works out really well with Hitmontop just being able to intimidate both of them. Uh, he switches on to Ferrothorn, probably expecting the fairy type move from my uh, Mega Altaria, and he protects with Mamoswine, but this works out fine for me. Uh, while I do get the recoil damage from touching the iron barbs, I'm able to break any possible sash or anything like that that might be on the Ferrothorn. And then on the following turn, I live the Icicle Spear quite handily because of the Intimidate from Hitmontop. I'm able to easily clean up the Fer uh, Ferrothorn with a Fire Blast, and then I have Low Kick on my Hitmontop for just that purpose. While he does have a Focus Sash, it, it, without that Sash, he would have gone down in one hit very, very simply. Uh, so right here, he actually ends up protecting again with Mamoswine. I go for Wide Guard expecting a Hyper Force from his Sylveon, and I go for my own Hyper Voice, and so while he does um, not do any damage to my Pokemon, I'm able to get off about a quarter damage to his Sylveon. So I will certainly take that. I'm expecting another Hyper Voice, maybe an Ice type attack. We're gonna go out into Dialga right here. I just protect with Altaria, expecting him to Icicle Spear Altaria again. And that works out pretty well. I'm able to bring in Dialga on a neutral Hyper Voice, but man, that is definitely Specs damage because that did way too much damage. Um, and with the Intimidate, Mamoswine is just not threatening it at all, uh, really. Uh, I'm able to KO the Mamoswine and then KO the Sylveon immediately after. And this is kind of the, this is the main issue with bringing Ubers against a non-Uber type team. Um, his Pokemon just can't really stand up to the damage output that I am uh, piling on with Dialga. And since he only has Rayquaza left, unless he has Earthquake, and if he does have Earthquake, then I can bring in Hitmontop and Wide Guard. He can't KO both of the Pokemon that I have out right now. And so he goes for a Dragon Ascent, kind of just kind of a, a grudge kill against my Altaria there, because it did so much work against this team, I, I'm assuming. Uh, and even if I had missed this Draco Meteor that I'm going to go for with Dialga, Hitmontop can come back out and fake out and intimidate and there was just not really anything that he could have done at that point in the battle. So that was actually a pretty fun match. He's the only opponent that I saw bring for Rothorn in the entire competition that I faced. Sylveon was pretty popular uh, and so was Rayquaza. Now the second match is indicative. This probably accounts for a one third of my total losses in this competition. And that's where you see Xerneas with Follow Me or Smeargle or Mew and he gets off the Geomancy, and then the Smeargle or Mew uses Transform to copy the Geomancy boost. So, uh, the reason that's such a big issue is because I would I missed Dark Void so many times during this competition. It was kind of dumb, uh, honestly. Like, I, I either would miss one or both of my opponents just over and over and over. And as you see here, the main thing that I, me I needed to hit was Xerneas. Uh, it's just... I missed that move so much in this battle, in this competition. But anyways though, um, I was hoping that uh, the Geo, I could just come back in with we'll Hitmontop later on and fake out to stop it from being such a big deal. I Dark Void again, hoping to hit the Xerneas because I know I can't kill it with the Sludge Bomb. And I do hit it that time, thank goodness, because I, the Pokemon that I chose just cannot handle Geomancy Xerneas at all. I will certainly have to run one of those in the future. But uh, fortunately the bad dreams are helping whittle down my opponent a good bit. He does use follow me, but that's not going to end up mattering just because I use sludge bomb and flash cannon. Uh, both of those are super effective, but I did target down the Xerneas. I didn't target the Togekiss at all that turn um, cause Xerneas is way more threatening than Togekiss. I guess Togekiss can paralyze me. Go for some annoy annoying uh, flint shenanigans and things like that. Um, but follow me is going to stop me from KOing the Xerneas this turn which is extremely important because on the next turn, um, Xerneas is actually going to wake up and uh, I'm going to have to contend with that. And so he has Smeargle. I just went for Dark Pulse here. Not, I don't know why I didn't expect Smeargle to have Focus Sash. It almost always has Focus Sash. Uh, and he goes for his own Dark Void, which was a gigantic misplay. I just should have gone for Dark Void again. Granted, if I had done Dark Void again, 
his Xerneas would have woken up after I went for Dark Void and then still use Geomancy. So no matter what, I was kind of screwed. And of course, he hits both of my Pokemon with Dark Void, whereas I was only able to hit one of his Pokemon with Dark Void. So of course, I can't be afforded a wonderful miss in that situation. Uh, he is able to get off Geomancy, which sucks. And um, my Pokemon are asleep. And so that means in addition to me being asleep and him being able to KO the fastest thing that I have, which is my Darkrai, he's going to transform with the Smeargle, copy those boosts, and get the Fairy Aura. So now we're talking two 30% boosts because of two Fairy Auras on the field. And both Xerneas have plus two special attack and plus two speed. I'm not even able to KO it with my Dialga. I, I can't even break through that with my adamant or boosted flash cannon that stab and super effective um so right here he goes for protect and i he has double protect so there's just nothing that i can i can't even fake him out like i thought i was going to be able to um, i don't have substitute of my diago or anything so that means we're just going to take double moon blast to the face and that's going to be kind of the end of those pokemon um yeah, kind of unfortunate Altaria is out here on his lonesome going, hey guys, I'm just a little puffball. And then he, she kind of just gets obliterated, but that's okay. Uh, Altaria, you're very shiny and poofy, so it's okay. You, you did the best you could with my misplays. Now, with that out of the way, uh, this last match is actually pretty interesting as well. We see my opponent has a clef key. Um, yeah, I... I didn't fight it. This is the only Klefki that I fought against in the entire tournament, too. Uh, now, I just start off with Arceus Fairy Form, which I had a lot of trouble with uh, Arceus Fairy Form and Xerneas. Quite a, I ran into quite a couple of those. Uh, quite a couple of those. I ran into quite a few of those. More than two. I definitely ran into more than two. But I decided to go for Fake Out on the Scrafty. Didn't end up mattering because he just went for the Crafty Shield trying to block my Dark Void. And then I, I just completely overestimated my dark cry speed IV. It's not perfect, but I thought I would be faster than the Xerneas. And he just obliterates me with judgment. So now that I'm missing my dark cry, I don't really have any way to stop his uh, Pokemon because he's going to set up a light screen. And now my attacks aren't going to be doing very much at all in comparison to him. He's one shotting my Pokemon. Just every time he attacks, something goes down. Uh, him on top just happens to have a lot of HP and enough special defense to live a hit but it doesn't end up mattering very much um, I'm not able to take it down because of the light screen I go for helping hand again expecting a protect from uh, his uh, Arceus and unfortunately he's able to paralyze my Dialga which just sucks um, he's able to KO me with judgment there's just not a lot to play around with here because we're messing with such powerful attacks in the form of judgment being stabbed and super effective against so many of my members that I didn't really have anything I could do. Now I decided to bring in Altaria here just so I could Mega Evolve and Protect in case he wanted to use Judgment on Altaria thinking that maybe i get paralyzed. Uh, so I do have the opportunity to do that and hopefully he'll attack it and I can finish him off with um, my Dialga. And that's exactly what happens. He f I guess he figured that Dialga wasn't as big of a threat because it was already paralyzed. But thank goodness I'm able to finish it off right there. Now we have to deal with Garchomp. Um, and since I don't have hit him on top to block things with wide guard or at least intimidate it, that's just not a great look. Uh, Garchomp goes for Earthquake as Clefkly protects itself. I didn't think that Earthquake would KO my Dialga, and it certainly won't KO my Altaria. And so I'm actually able to get off a pretty good amount of damage on the uh, Garchomp. I decided to go for Earthquake on the Clefki there just in case they wanted to paralyze my Altaria that turn. And he protected, so I didn't get it then. But if he wants to go for Earthquake again, he's going to have to hit his own Clef Key. Uh, and he actually decides to go straight for that move. He KOs his own Clef Key. Um, and he manages to KO my Altaria with as little damage as it did the first time. He did a lot more damage that time, and he takes out my Dialga. So, I guess it's not a big deal that he KO'd his Clef Key if he won the match there. But he had Solomon's in the back, so without my um, Darkrai, I wouldn't have been able to do that much anyway. So... But even, even so, I had a lot of fun with that competition. I'll have some more battles from that competition coming up soon. I had a lot of video files get corrupted that I'm recovering slowly. So that's why you're seeing these things a little bit later. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.